Hello and welcome to another bit Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review. Thought that was going to be the last of the reviews. Um, bloody camcorders on the blink. Weren't, uh, the shutters weren't open properly, so I've had to do a bit of a sellotaping as you do. So, just to open the little things up. But anyway, on a very cold, um, the first really bitter whew, night of the autumn, and uh, I bought the colour gas fire in, but I ran out of gas, you know, the usual thing. Um, tonight it is a, a whopping five degrees, and you can see your breath, so I think I'm going to be a long with you, but a goodie. So, tonight from Tesco's, um, a Belgian strong beer, which is eight and a half percent. That's ridiculous, isn't it? Uh, delirium. Uh, triple fermented. Uh, produced by. No, it doesn't really say. Doctor Hell Higi or something. Doesn't really give you any details there. Uh, yeah, Huigi Brewery since sixteen fifty four. So, 8.5% decent strength beer. Looking forward to this. Let's crack it open. It's going to be a quick review because it's freezing. And I'm, and I'm cooking dinner as well. So. Oh. so, here we go. So, Paul's, uh, I'd say, a, a, like a straw, um, very light gold colour, obviously with a white head, and uh, a good head as well. It smells pretty much like any other uh, Belgian beer I've smelt, actually, to be fair. They've all got that certain smell to them. What shall I say? Aroma. Wow, it's going to be very interesting doing reviews in the end of winter with how ah, cold it is. And not, it's not even bitter cold at the moment, so it's going to be interesting. Right, let's have a bit and I'll uh, go on the internet and see if we can find any info. First thing that hits you is the strength. Um, Discerning the taste and aroma is it's not the easy, it just it's just it smells like a light malt but good strong um taste to it. Right, let's try and bring up her uh, if the internet plays ball. So it's delirium. Better spell it well, isn't it? Delirium beer, uh huh. So yeah, it looks like the bottle. So three point six two out of five from three thousand three hundred and ninety one reviews. So it's obviously a very popular bit, eight and a half percent. Oh it started off as a 9% beer, but was reduced to 8.5% in, in 2003. Uh, originally brewed in 1989, bottle conditioned. The particular character and unique taste of Delirium Tremens results from the use of three different kinds of yeast. It's very original packaging, very, which resembles Cologne ceramics and the colourful label contribute to its success. Uh, it cost £2.50 from Tesco. So not the cheapest, but, you know, sometimes it's worth having a gamble. Uh, in 1997, Stuart Hay Callan nominated Delirium Tremens as the best beer in the world. No mean feat, really. A gold medal during the World Ch Beer Championships in Chicago confirmed that worldwide recognition. So, very good. You know, very interesting. So, uh 
3.9 out of 5. Slightly clouded, golden yellow with thick, foamy head. Banana aroma. Um, classic taste with caramelised banana and nutmeg. Solid approach. So the next review, uh, and this is only from a few days ago, it's okay, I don't really understand the hype with this one. You can look at this taste aroma two different ways, the first being cloves, banana, pear, etc. The second being bubblegum. This is where I can't vibe with it, it just tastes like bubblegum to me. So, different review, good score still though. We're another 4.0 out of 5. Golden colour with slight foamy hair, definitely banana undertone. Overall a good beer, just for something different. Another one, 3.6 out of 5. Aromas of fruits, bread, yeast, hints of honey, grass and herbs. Hazy amber with a white head. Medium and sweet and medium bitter. Medium a plus body with average carbonation. Overall a very pleasant and enjoyable Belgian strong ale. Well balanced. Final one. Uh, nice opaque bottle design. Gold colour with white head. Sweet biscuit malt, Belgian yeast, lemon juice, sweet bready, light green apple, white sugar, light DMS, whatever that is, uh, light booze, banana candy, light citrus hops. So, you know, um, a lot of interesting reviews, good reviews for it. Um, if there's banana there, it's definitely in the background rather than the forefront, you know. So obviously I'm drinking it at five five degrees and it is chuffing chilly in here. Um, other people may be drinking it slightly after. You can tell it's a bit of bottle condition, a little bit of sediment in there. So no, nothing to worry about, obviously. A little bit hazy, still nice, some carbonation or lacing there. So. Try and bring that banana to the forefront. There's definitely banana there. I've got a woofer that um can't taste nutmeg, and I do like nutmeg. <sighs> oh. So what hits you when you first drink is the strength. You know, eight and a half percent. It's gonna be. You're gonna get. You feel it did straight away but now as I'm going down it just tends to be a nice um oh, the neck it's cold it's just a nice beer you know well worth um well worth trying out oh definitely can feel it though you know I've had an EPA tonight in the house um just something to drink and um, Marston's EPA that is and uh, I thought well I'll do a beer review because it's I'm freezing but uh, we'll come down and do one um, yeah not bad at all and after the day I've had so I'm at work today and we've got some locations where we do gardening for some you know slightly high end not particularly high end but high end for the people I work for and uh, so anyway we could pull up to these gates gated community tap the number in boat comes in pulls into the gates I says you can that way and then reverse clearly so I'm waiting there next minute drives forward and whops a bloody lamppost over what? how did you not see a lamppost I mean reversing always an issue with reverse and that's why I was ready to reverse him but going forward fucking hell you know if you've got to watch somebody driving forward then what the hell I mean he said it was in his his blind sight so you know that may have been the thing but I mean this lamppost is like 20 25 foot tall you know not a not an outdoor outside lamppost as in outside on main roads 
but in, a, in this car park, you know, fairly decent sized lamppost. I've no idea how we did not see it. So that made for an interesting day at work. Obviously, bosses aren't happy about that, you know. I mean, I mean, the bloke who runs the the site uh, management bloke, he come down and says, "Well, it's just one of them things." You know, it was, it was really casual about it, to as he was anyway. But you know, it's a, did not a good start to the day, <laughs> which is hence why the bear's going down a tree. A definite banana. I wouldn't say it's as banana as hobgoblin. That is ob is banana -y. And obviously, uh, Wells Banana Bread Beer is probably the, the best uh, example of a banana beer. So, um, score wise. Lovely strong ale. I wouldn't say it's a top 10 ale. I'd say it's a, it's a good. A good ale, um, beer. I'm gonna give it a 4.5 out of five. It, it's good, it's, it's in that category, but it's not outstanding, you know. And it may be one of the things that if I have one again and have it at a warmer temperature, it may do something different. And that's something that, uh, you know, I mean, beers are meant to be drank at five degrees. I mean, you, you put a beer in a fridge, a beer, you know, but a fridge is five degrees. So, um, Hopefully in a, in a week or two when I when I sort out some a uh, couple of gas canisters for this shed, warm it up a bit the beer room. So uh, by the time I come in, the beers have warmed up slightly, and uh, we'll see some different reviews. You know, but every, you know, beers are meant to be drunk at all sorts of temperatures. So at this temperature, four point five, maybe at a higher temperature, it's a lot better. We'll have to see. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Oh, better turn it off, aren't I? Mm -hmm.